rotate, and now it looks like it's exactly where they want to go. They're doing a good job. Of, doesn't even matter. I was going to say getting rid of Brimstone Smokes, but Bjorn already drops down Marv, so that's U-Haul being given from FaZe towards the way of BBG. A dash towards Showers will keep... Oh, man. FaZe is immediately recoiling, of course. The rotations are yep. coming in, and that player will survive before we get him. Yeah, but Baby Bay, Baby Bay can be really problematic. And if it's not Baby Bay, it's Corey who gets one. But Will sniffs it out. He's going to land the shots and take care of him. FaZe just down to two members left. They're on the site, but they haven't been able to push BBG off quite yet. Bo's going to be the first one. He spots the player, but look at how aggressive. Critical's going to go. No, Rockus. You got to do it to him like that. Zachary gets one as well. BBG looked like they were starting to lose grip on this round but it quickly goes back to just one on the side of phase it's zachary and bjorn's phase who have pushed in through showers work their way back towards short but can they get through rob making sandwiches rob can find the first but critical there to back him up door will fall <laughs> rob was immediately sending it back in will and critical chime back in with their own frags and that has cleaned up nicely three members nice. of dbg will survive and there are worse ways that that could have ended and Right here, more aggression coming out from FaZe, Doug. Oh, man, the orbital strike, the blade storm. <laughs> yours a dead man walking as he drops. They don't take the space, but they get the kill. Meanwhile, BBG working their way up short. They're going to lead with the drone. But the problem is for BBG is where the other players of FaZe are. They still have showers control. Marv, if he anchors there, he can rip this round apart for Built by Gamers. But Corey with the judge just on the other side in u-haul he's gonna get tagged up those shock darts certainly don't feel good and then if it's not the shock darts it's a vandal from critical that send him packing bbg and phase at three piece here oh man there he is right we talked about that earlier if you don't deal with the player in showers there's really no room to breathe marf peaks he gets one and now bbg wisely say we're getting the f out of here bro they take the telly they're gonna get on to b and phase is in a foot race to get back yeah, it's critical low HP, 17 seconds away from his recon dart, but Hunter's Fury in hand. You oh. think maybe he goes to long and plays the post plant and instead. Zachary swinging out from defender spawn towards Covey collects two beautiful shots towards the side of BBG. And now it's two all nice defensive round from phase. And I say nice defense, but it doesn't look like it want to go there. It's going to be very reminiscent to what we saw in the previous round where they have Rob over at B long, but they want to go to A. There's the orbital strike. It's going to push things back across the middle of the oh. map. But look at how much space BBG have taken up showers. And FaZe has pushed out of Hookah. We'll talk about this in a second. Critical oh. capitalizes on that and finds Baby Bay retreating. Corey lingers. He finds no. two and throws the knife into the back. of B basically got caught out and a very awkward encounter in front of the teleporter where... Yeah. Ooh, and this time Bjorg gets the better of Zachary. And it's Marved over at A that finds another one, Doug. Yeah. Corey's gonna get pushed back. There's no there's no knee crossfire that's set up now. They know Corey's there. They have a decent idea of where he is, but Corey doesn't seem to give a damn. As he takes care of Rob Wiz himself. Yeah, Will trades it out, but that should give BBG a little bit of room to work with. Baby Bay's gonna drop. BBG have the numbers advantage. They're getting out. Marv goes in aggressive through teleporter. He gets one before trading. They don't want to deal with Rockus, the last remaining member of FaZe on B. They're going over to A. Yeah, and for Rockus here, as soon as you see that dart, you know, you got to be feeling like there's no way they're coming back to B here. Please yeah. be a fake. Okay, no, Spike's being planted. And this is just <laughs> tough. Such a tough ask, you know. You got to sprint all the way across the map. They could be here at Pipes. They could be legit anywhere. You, right. do have, you do have a recon dart to work with, but, you know, creeping through, he's got to clear all these angles, and it almost calls for, and Critical's going to get this info, or at least delay, oh, the, no. delay the rock's peak for just a moment longer. Yep. And without somebody getting caught out here, Doug, it seems as though BBG... Whoop. Oh, boy. All right. That's enough info. Should be able to lock it up. Yeah. Yeah. By coming out for phase, so they do have rifles in there. Scory with a vandal Dang. one tap on a will and hookah. Dang. But the blade storm is the difference maker now. Two frags going for Baby Bay. Traded back out by Bjorn, but now just a two on four here for BBG. So phase's win condition was that <laughs> blade storm. Great trigger discipline from Rockus. They dropped BBG just down to Beautiful. one, but but wasn't enough oh, to get the kill. Look at how deep Corey was. He was all the Ooh. way in there.
That is a tragic fail. Four on four now. Wonder if the orbital strike will come out to delay this and a little late. Maybe going to U-Haul instead. We'll find out in just a moment. Yeah, look at Rob. Look at how far Rob has gotten into heaven. The problem is all he has is a classic, right? Like no blade storm, no op or anything crazy like that. He's going to get dismissed with relative ease. Meanwhile, BBG is still trying to hold on to the site. They're just down to two members left. The orbital strike is going to clear out U-Haul as Bjor takes care of Baby Bay. Marved returns. Tries to get one, but Zachary's actually the one who get it, but here's Spo. Ooh. Nice! Oh, okay. Almost. Zachary gets three. It was it was close, right? It easily could have gone the other. Look Rob. Look at all the space he's already taken. The showstopper is gonna be used from Will. Dude, they are full sending. But Rockets is able to take care of Rob just fine. Will takes it out, however. Marv down the swing. Understanding that there's a member in U-Haul. They still have pipes control. However, there's no no flank is set up, right? Like, B is not an option. They're fully committed to A here. Corey's going to use the showstopper of his own. Blast pack across. The showstopper just goes a bit left as it hits onto the triple stack. But BBG still have some semblance of control of the site. You see a couple of members playing off. FaZe has a numbers advantage, though, and they can exploit that. Understanding that as they try to go in, the dart's going to be used there to push members back. Zachary, oh, Zachary, they left you hole and check, right? The thing falls apart. The wheels are no longer on the bus. Critical drops as well. Phase gets a seven at half. Wow, what a retake. Those brim smokes really come in handy for the retake as well. Being 20 seconds long, you can't see it. The play is they're going to enter with the drone. No killjoy utility waiting for them as the stack was over by B. They peak long. Your uh, BBG does understand there's nobody home, and that's going to be the cue that the hits there. But Baby Bay, death, taxes, and phase going aggressive. There are three things in life that are sure, but Critical takes care of one. He gets a second one as well with the Frenzy as they're keeping phase back. Marv trading damage and almost gets the second one. Still, Will buying a lot of time here for BBG over in showers to at least occupy phase as Bjor falls to Rockets, and now it's a two on three, Doug. One enemy remaining. Oh, Spike man. taken away. Yeah, it's just a Will. Marved with a Frenzy gets three. What was, what, what was... It's Spectre by, but we meant Stinger by here. Oh, oh man. And unfortunately for them, it does not pay off so far. No, it, it doesn't, and I'm... Um... I'm going to say something just that... Say I, it, Doug. Uh, just say it, Doug. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this, and then I also realize that I have not looked at every single game they've ever played, but I want to say BBG forces after the pistol every round, regardless of whether or not they win it, right? And sometimes it works out, and everything's great, and they can carry that financial um, surplus into the following rounds, and everything's awesome. But then there are times like this. Up the stim pack, and they just held the freaking left click, and they blind fired in through that so that they could get him the blade storm again. Then the play was over on A. Corey gets one. Baby Bay's oh. there. <sighs> with the blade storm. Critical one with the show, or with the Hunter Fury, excuse me. But it's going to get traded out. BBG still have to have a chance here, but look at how low of health these players have, Lex. Yeah, they're weak. And <laughs> you've just lost so many rounds in a row. You're on a full really? loss bonus. And right there, Critical just getting deleted in spawn by that orbital strike. Zachary's going to close. These look like they were setting up to go back B. They get about halfway, and then they pull back. There's nobody oh. home in A. And critical, that 1 HP finally removed from Zach. That is absolutely right. They're just heading back towards A. Going to put the spike down over towards triple. Zachary with no this idea. lurk finds another Doug. Dude, Such they had no idea. Yeah, they had no idea that the play was A until the spike went down. They were convinced that it was it. Hey, I won't call that a clean round. Only two players live, but you at least consolation prize. There's the operator and a hunter's oh, fury boy. immediately from critical. Oh, will force boy. all these players back. Marv responds and is just holding W up short, looking for, you know, what may have been a critical out of position. But okay, actually, Zachary will find that. Oh, oh yeah. Back, and the blade storm comes out. And this is madness, Doug. No way. Look at that. Rob is able to get it this this round. Oh, okay, there's a lot to talk about, <laughs> but let, let, let's see this thing out. Zachary, who somehow slipped his way in through showers onto A entirely. Un down coming through for BBG to silence whatever this execute would have been. Yeah, but the spike is down, right? Like the spike is down. It's not planted. It's not in anyone's hands. And the orbital strike from Marv takes care of Bjor. It's just down to critical. Critical. 
He's so steady in moments that his team needs him most, Ooh. and he delivers again, baby! That is jump, dog. I, I wonder if that was planned aggression completely from FaZe, but I think it was a good reaction from Baby Bay recognizing foe. Okay. So you see Rob peeks short, uh, critical peeks long, nobody's home, so then they paranoia mid, but Baby Bay doesn't care about the paranoia that's in his face. He pushes in with the blade storm and he's able to take care of foe. FaZe are going to continue to work their way up short. The spike hasn't fully committed yet, but there's nobody watching to lurk on B. Smokes are going to come down from heaven and look at the position that Baby Bay finds himself in. It can be so devastating if left unchecked. The wheels are starting to fall apart here for BBG as they're just down to two members left, but of course it's Critical who gets one back. And now, FaZe to have to decide whether or not they want to stick with A or pull off. They they seem to be cutting noise, and BBG is starting to rotate back over. They do have a Hunter's Fury, so playing pure retake here isn't the worst idea. If, oh, oh my gosh. Check my last. Baby Bay has other plans for the Operator in Heaven. The Hunter's Fury will come through. Not sure if he's going to even get a tag here, Doug. Oh, man, that was, that's so big, right? And Baby Bay aggressively taking room away from BBG, not allowing them to work their way into pipes. That leaves things down to Critical. Critical, who's had heroics. How much? Oh, okay. He gets one, right? But he's tagged down to 18 health. And you see members of Face start to, like, pull back, right? And force Critical into, a, into an uncomfortable situation where he has to swing. He tries, but the heroics run just a bit dry. No one to fall off, no one to fight. That's it. A play coming in here from FaZe. Fast five frenzies. Steam rolling the defensive BBG, pushing them back immediately towards Tree Doug. Spike yeah, getting but, planted. Yeah, but so far so good, right? Like, if mm -hmm. the key is no one to fight, no one to fall off, BBG understanding that FaZe is holding W, they fall off. They still have all the numbers that they want. Rob already with a hot start. Bjorn gets in on it as well. We talked about how pivotal Rob is to the success of this Beautiful. squad. He's already got three. I mean, that's it right there. Imagine where... And that was a force up for FaZe, right? So now they have very Ooh. little to work with as well. Will oh. and Foe lighting up the kill feed. But the stingers that they have, that's another one, man. Tee him up, knock him down. Corey drops. Oh, man. And as, as I'm talking about the stinger being the best gun of the game, Will fade away, sprinting, random one tap. Just, sometimes it works out that way for you. If you're bouncing Rockets, then Zachary, and now 3-0. Beautiful start so far for BBG. Hatler came through from Marv. And with that dark cover, he's not challenged for a refrag. Now it's even things up, equalized at fours. Doug, 45 seconds left on the clock. Phase have been unmoved. They will stay here towards A. Jeez. Rob oh, is answering back. Well, and that was so big too, right? With four health, he was kind of stuck in that gen spot. But Bjorn, that's big. He was freaking just finished dropping the lockdown. And he swings, gets the kill, pushing face off. They have no choice but to run for the fences and try to avoid this lockdown. Zachary's going to get caught. But wisely, EBG not hunting him down, not chasing him down a long, letting it reset. And the thing is, BBG has that luxury phase. They're fully left. stuck here, right? Like if they want to make a play, it has to be A. Yeah, and they've recovered the Operator, but keep in mind, BBG came into this round mostly with Stinger's, you know, subpar weaponry. So remaining. with time running out, Rockets will even fall, and so that's another... And that's why they have to stay back. Like, look at how Bjorn's playing this, right? Understanding that they could easily go the other way. Baby Bay gets one, Zachary does as well. Baby Bay continuing to pick apart BBG as they're down to two members left. Those are two that were waiting on the rotate previously. Now they've shown up, but what can Rob do? with his op. Zach, Zachary has a decent idea of where they are. Rocket swings. Rob, presumably, is trying to keep the op alive here. Nope, of course not. He's just going to go in aggressive. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Okay. All, Doesn't do almost, it. Phase on the board. Four over at a main. Nice play so far from BBG to hold off this aggression, but Marv is that generator, Doug. Yeah, dude, he's all the way in there, and he's going to push Pure back. He's going to swing, but Will shows up just in the nick of time to keep him alive. Rob gets one as well. Rock is holding across the middle of the map, understanding that members of BBG were going to start to show up and rotate over. Catch him slipping. But now, FaZe, they have the spike. What they don't have uh, anymore, uh, at least, is, is options or teammates, right? It's, it's just down to Zachary. He is one point away. All right. That's some info. Right, but critical with the swing at just the right time is devastating. 
as FaZe drops to Corey there with the Frenzy, able to trade it out, and Zachary with the Sheriff gets in on the action as well to drop things Spike down planted. to three apiece. The Spike is going to go down as well, and Rob is slowly making his way over, but for now, he's he's out of the play. He has the Blade Storm now, understanding that he's got to bust the move and get going. He's starting to hurry over. Now he has shown up, and now BBG can together push to take this site back. No, Rob was there. Rob was there. Excuse me, Zachary was there. As he's able to take care of Rob, will trade it out. As it drops down to two piece, Corey's still anchoring down the back of the site. He's going to drop the hands of foe. It's just down to Rockus. His vandal proves to be too much for the sheriff as BBG get the defuse. Wow. I mean, beautiful retake from BBG. Yeah, Zachary very well could have exchanged a few shots at this point. So Marv's still a problem, but yours down. So that alarm bot will fall with him. And suddenly mid is all phase. Traded frags actually may make them oh. think again, and actually Marv will lose the gunfight against Foe. Maybe base steps out of A main and drops critical now. Doug, 3v3. The spike is surely going to A now. It is. It's it's almost uncontested. Foe was there. He spotted at least one player creep in, but Baby Bay has worked his left. way up. Rob with the op. King to see if he can spot anyone. There's an Earl Theft in the hands of FaZe. So given, oh no! Oh, that's so big! He misses and he gets absolutely punished for it. Zachary does it as well as it drops down to just Will. He's gonna get one, right? Arena can be devastating here, but you you don't have time. You don't have angles. The crossfire from FaZe, that was so beautiful. Players, the B players are rotating as quickly as they can towards a heaven, Doug, but Spike will get planted here now. Let's see if they try to take tree here and, and potentially try to push in for the retake from different angles. You just saw Foe peek it, but the problem is there's an op in the hands of Baby Bay at door, right? So that like that's the safety valve. That's it. if everything goes sideways, you're the last one and things don't go sideways at all as they're mowed apart. Could be very well the round where you break BBG's money. Yep. Good paranoia, good dash, good shots, good kill, but it does get traded out. Oh my God, that movement from Corey is so sick with the dismiss. Already hopping back up the A boxes. So BBG, even though they were able to claim the man advantage, they were lacking some info, and Will fishes a little too hard for it. Pays for it with his life, and now it's a three-on-three, three, Doug. And I was about to say that they were going to roll into an A split, but they hesitate for just a moment. I think they were just buying time for Corey. Yeah, and he's going to use the Empress as well. Now he has shown up. It's going to be on foe, one of the early contacts. As Yorsh just now showing up, and he shows up really just in the nick of time, enough to take her rockets. Yeah, it's going to get traded out, and Foe holds fast, at least for now. Now Corey has made his way onto the site. Again, he used that Empress in a 1v2. You don't count out Arena in situations like this. He only has five bullets in his clip. They have a decent Ooh. idea of where he is. Clean shots from Foe. Very well played. You shot dart the back of Jen. Souls away from Baby Bay ripping his head off with the Blade Storm. But now they understand that they've gotten onto the site. Will taking care of the Blade Storm. Removing that from the equation. And then continuing to press the matter with the Empress of his own. Continuing to swing. Continuing to stop him. But Corey. Actually, Corey. Corey's already got three. Foe trades him out. EBG take the round. It was it was over almost as quickly as it started. And the 8-3, fast A play from FaZe, maybe? Yes, indeed. Dash is in. Rob's waiting there. Baby Bay doesn't drop, but Corey does. The Cloud Burst is going to keep him at bay from dealing more damage. Uh, but Bo, on the other hand, is not phased by it at all. <laughs> the lockdown's going to be used to keep them back. But Marv, Marv is getting cooking. He's had a slow start to the map, but he's already got three on the round. He's going to ult back to safety and put BBG in a really awkward situation where the map is flipped. They don't even, I don't think they know they have the spike on site. Because they are rotating yeah. back towards B. Oh, man. Phase is outmaneuvered these guys completely. It's a train wreck. It's watching a train wreck. Zachary with two. It's about this. They they have some control across mid. You see Bjor pushed up, but they know where he is. They're going to swing, and Marv just runs at him. Able to take care of one. Corey from Cat. And really, baby, ba I mean, it's just, it's a firing squad here. BBG, get ripped to shreds. Marv is literally just picking up frenzies off the ground, reloading them, spamming the next one, picking up that. Manages to just narrowly escape with his life. Pathetic. Spectre snipers, man. Yeah, just unreal, right? Like, it's just, just miserable to deal with. Marv gets one. Zachary gets in on it as well. Again, this is not... BBG walked into this with pistols and what, maybe 
one stinger, two stingers, right? Like it, they didn't That's have, yeah. yeah, they didn't have a ton of firepower going into this thing. So you expect uh, phase to, well, do this, really. Spike uh, plant? You would, no, for some of the money, at, at least. Cover going out. Tough spot to be in because you think that maybe you don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is nothing better in this game than seeing there's no. So they immediately get the free frag on him trying to leave the site. Really seemed like just a, a, a colossal misplay from him. And Rob Wiz over here at this ticket booth getting Baby Bay, getting aggro at A main. That's what he's been waiting for this whole game. He finds two and one more base player has already pushed through A main. That's Corey. And it seems as though BBG this entire half has been anticipating the inevitable aggression through a main from phase, especially when they haven't been, been making any presence there. Right? BBG has basically just been letting them push up if they want. Uh-oh. Mm. Lose the op. Well, and I think that's that's the other really interesting thing to remember about this round. That op in the hands of Rob was the op that phase lost in the previous round. True. And, you know, speaking of just the buy that they have, that, that's probably a very typical anti-ego coming out from BBG. But at least it's finally gotten to the point where, oh, oh. almost, where at least FaZe, you know, they're going to be a little bit more mindful of pushing up an A main, which Baby Bay's done it several times in this game already yeah. and gotten away with it too. But Rob Wiz has dedicated an, an exorbitant amount of time just kind of lingering, making sure that it's not an issue for his team. So that's just one less option for FaZe to exploit late round of this game on defense. You know, you want to be able to, to make those early anticipatory reads. Get a fast flank going. Tell you what, forget that. Just have Corey hit some headshots. <laughs> it's always feeling good. Yeah, but, it, you know, I, I get at this point, Corey... Hey. Support from Corey and Baby Bay in a moment. That's delayed. And the Hunter's Fury may delay it even further. I want to see... Yeah, the op is still there. The op's still in the hands of Baby Bay. But Rob gets in on the site. And it looks like they're going to get the spike down. Baby Bay with the blade storm, dropping the op for his teammate as he realizes I'm going in, baby. And this is this is certainly the play that I want to make. Zachary is going to pick it up. We'll see if Baby Bay can get anything going. He's already been tagged up, just down to 18 health. Critical holds fast. Critical Ooh. holds fast, and he gets four. BBG. Again, you, you, Baby Bay being there at CT is sorry. Defender spawn is certainly a uh, a situation where. That's scary. That Checked. It's going to be a problem. Corey's there. He only has a stinger, but the spike has gone down. This one's going to be a bloodbath as it's a straight up 5v5. Corey trying to run for the fences and stay alive as Zachary continues to hold this space. The problem is, for for FaZe, BBG have some, but they have players down in hell. They've got they've got great post plants, but of course, as I say that, there's a hundred fury. Critical and Rob is able to get one apiece. As FaZe is just down to three and make that one. This thing fell apart so quickly. Their team will look good, I think, on, on either side, regardless of attack and defense right away. The Owl Drum will get the tag on Baby Bay, forcing him back towards defender spawn, and the C split is underway from BBG here, Doug. And they've taken garage control. They have full sight uh, of C, or at least full control of C. Excuse me, and now foe was trying to get the plant down, but you saw how Baby Bay there blasting through that uh, through that double stack there, understanding that that's where they wanted to plant, but Bjor, Bjor gets him from behind, takes care of Marv, takes care of Baby Bay, keeps BBG in this thing, but they drop! They drop as soon as we set that up. Zachary and Rockus are able to get a couple of piece. They've got the spike down, but what they don't have is, is really health, right? Foe is five. You can't even see his health on the bar, but he's still getting kills. How does the guy do it? Zachary, trading him out, drops things down to a 1v1. Zachary oh looking for the tap. No way. Critical swings. Zachary somehow manages to stay alive long enough to push him back. Uh, but you don't know that... It, it, I don't know that he has much time left. Zachary has to go in aggressive there. He's going to get the kill. But the spike is going to go off. Because BBG is just... Uh -oh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, man. That was such a good setup, right? The cam. Then the swing. Zachary gets one. But Rob with the Spectre getting a couple. Nice shots from Marv. He's not going to be around long enough to deal play. any more damage. As it's just down to Baby Bay. The slow burn as he makes his way all the way through the defending side. You see, they may be wise to it already. Yep, criticals there. Nice shots. BBG. When the song, a couple of cage, uh, excuse me, cages. 
from Zachary, just really forcing BBG into a brutal spot as they're just picking them to shreds. BBG's just down to two here, and the spike's down in C-Long. Oh, Critical does have a lurk, only gets one. Have the numbers advantage, but Critical's is super far away. It looks like he's actually going to be able to pick up the spike, however. I, surely Zachary saw that, right? I'm sure he did, but he's got to check his six, not knowing where Critical was in the round. And regardless, you still got to wait for Corey to move his way over towards A-Link in the first place. Neither player wants to get lurked on just for this exact reason. You take a 1v1 when you're not near your teammate and suddenly Critical. Oh, he might catch Corey with his knife out! There it is. Oh. They're stacking up. That should give away the op. There it is. They understand where that's going to be coming from. But Baby Bay gets on to critical anyway. And Rockus is going to use the Hunter's Fury to clear space out. But it looks like BBG want to go, right? They don't care about how the rest of the round has gone so far. They're convinced on making their way in through C. They're on the site. They don't have the spike, however. Rob was able to take care of Baby Bay. Rockus trades it back out as Rob continues to dance on the site. Stay alive. A 1v3. It's the entry here from Will to open up the site. Yeah, well, delay just long enough for Rob. Oh, and if it's not Will, it's, it's yeah, it's Rob who goes in, but Zachary holds him off just fine. Rob gets three with the Blade Storm, but it's Baby Bane. Look at Bjor. Bjor gets all the way in there, and now it's a 1v1. See how Marv chooses to play this. He's in Garage, starting to creep his way forward. Bjor does not have the spike. He's got to get onto that. And now... Yeah, he, I mean, it's not like he has time to go anywhere else. He's going to get caught just on the other side. Marv is there. Marv takes care of Bjor. Faye, but look at what they've done on C. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, Baby Bay and Corey are all the way back there at this point. And Marv pushes in through Garage as well. This is the Faye special. Right? The aggression, the relentless pursuit of who they're playing against. It's just critical here. <laughs> critical gets one with the Sheriff. But Drawing eyes towards it. Again? Bro, again? Right? Like, oh, that was perfect! Right? Like, Foe ag again managed to look away just as Marv peaked, but the, the tripwire was there to get the kill. Now, you've got to be careful there as you work your way up C long, because FaZe has Rockus. The discipline was there to get one. Nobody else is following suit because the spike is going back towards A. And that's a pretty serious commitment to be in, in long C cubby, so they're recognizing, okay, there's probably yeah. two guys on C. Right, let's yeah, take our four on two over at A and, and take our chances. And so now it's Baby Bay with an operator. And he's got a hold here, Doug. Spike, planted. Spike goes down. You can invest when you've got an op in the hands of Baby Bay over at A. And Zachary on the flank is able to take care of one as well. Critical using the Hunter's Fury to try to get some room going. But Baby Bay with the op yet again. And Rockus with the Hunter's Fury of his own. BBG just down to Will. Wow. I really thought that was going to be a BBG round. Once Will had gotten this frag, the Hunter's Fury didn't really get anything. I did not see FaZe just so... Let's peek this area of the map, but Marv again going in aggressive. He's got the drone. The drone's cleared, but Marv doesn't look the right way. Beautiful crossfire from BBG. And a free one from Rob Wiz. That's a nice start. He immediately gets... Equalized by Rockus. Oh, I changed it. It's my, it's yeah. my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you did that. We'll see what BBG can do here. They've oh, invested no. onto A. But Zachary, critical, able to trade it out. Now Corey has shown up with the party as well. Three v two in favor of Phase. They also have one member certainly worse for wear, but Corey able to heal up, drop things down to just critical. Critical again has been heroic, but this time the really good they're gonna smoke off Bjor who's playing up in heaven the tripwires are there but Bjor through the smokes with the tripwire able to take care of baby bay face is still gonna get onto the site and Marv should be able to get the spike down all right and there it is now face can assume some post plants you see them playing off of the site really hard ensure that nobody's gonna be flanking around BBG pushing in from heaven and trying to push in from the link as well the thing is Marv is in hell and if left unchecked, this could be chaos. But Rob, Wiz, and Will with the Frenzy is able to stop things back. But Rockus, Rockus, Rockus not going to be able to pull it off. BBG, get a big one. Yeah, and I'm a little... Hmm, I'm disappointed. 
Talk to me. Things are going in through the flank and then decide that they're going to push up towards C anyway. It looks like they're trying to set up a paranoia. There it is, but it doesn't connect on anyone down in hell. The curveball does, but Corey's able to trade it out. He's going to dismiss his way around, and you see Foe running after him with the freaking judge trying to get the kills. He's able to get to BBG stuff phase. Wow. And talk about utility. Thanks. Not just that, just the firepower of the judge coming through. As far as HP goes, they're going to go back to A. Right, they're gonna go back to A. There's some utility there, but fall with the judge, man. Fall with the judge has been brutal for FaZe last the last round, and then even this one as well. Team up three so far with that bad boy. Yeah, I mean, BBG losing the first pick, waiting for this retake to come forward. Not a bad place to be in, especially considering the damaged opponents on FaZe. Paranoia comes through. Yeah, Rob is on the flank. But it may not matter. Will going in aggressively. He's got the stinger. He's able to get one. Looking for more jumps. The classic is there. He gets a second. And it's just down to Corey. He is going to drop. It looked like Fo was going to get another. Back sight. Maybe a, a, a feint towards C. Can't yeah, say quickly. Hey, baby Bay is real far up there. It's going to get pushed back after being spotted by the cam. Look at how BBG have to respond. Right? They fully, they've stacked almost everyone here. Baby Bay gets one. Rob trades it out. The spike is still not fully committed elsewhere, right? Like you expect when when you draw that much resource from the defending squad, at that point you're like hightailing it off off to the other side of the map. But face playing this one a bit more conservative. Oh, that's a huge kill from foe. Not only are you gonna get the man advantage back, but you've kind of sniffed out that that, that was all that there was towards C. And the retake had come in a little cleaner. You're always worried about a mid lurk here on Haven. But when you're on defense anyway, just having to clean up, make sure nobody's in your back lines. It's a lot more comfy to retake when you know it's not an issue. All right, FaZe choosing to play off. There's that paranoia that we saw also not connected, but there's a counter as the Empress is used. Rob, Rob with the op, aggressive, but it's Marv. Marv, who's already gotten two. Marv gets four, are you kidding? It's been rock solid so far, so for Marv to hold that, that's huge. And already a C play coming through, Doug. Oh, blades a couple exchanged. Blades. Yeah, a couple blades. Both of them used the blade storm. Baby Bay wins that duel. Hunter Fury's there as Rockus takes care of Will as well. And the chaos that ensues leaves one player left from Built by Gamers, and it's Bjor. Bjor, he's got a stinger, right? He's he's spike planted. It's, there's a ch there's a chance. There's a slim one. There's a chance. Phase able to stop if it's not the omen dip right now. Baby Bay has has just been so good with the operator phase with the numbers advantage. They're gonna take some space across the middle of the map, but Critical can go oh. big. Critical's already got two. Critical looking for the third. Marv trades it out, but the damage has been done. Phase still opting to go that way as Corey's able to take a pick on the middle of the map as well, right? Like BBG, they had to funnel over. They lost a member at C. They lost a member at B. Now, <sighs> your could potentially Oh, no. Depending on how he chooses to play this, but the, the truth is, Corey. BBG have lost. They've lost A. Corey's already in A link. This could be tough. Oh, the time. Spike he was play. on the other side of the box. He was never spotted. I think he hears Corey can behind still him. hold this down. Yeah. Oh, man. This oh, the that, perfect timing. This is that mid lurk that I was talking Looks about. Looks like Marv should be able to get the spike down, but Will, I love the aggression from Will using the red back to stop any shenanigans that may be taking place. And Robin Critical get a couple as well, but Corey's still anchored in back behind the site. The spike is sitting dangerously for phase in, in the middle of the site, right? Like, they, there's no easy way to get to it. Rockus is going to try, but he's in a 1v3 in a spot where he can get crossed up all sorts of different ways. Finds just one of those pixel... Just a moment, right place, right time, a moment too soon or too- Way over, they've got a chance here, baby bay, baby bay. Oh, Zachary taking care of your BBG, down one, phase have sight control. They should be able to get onto there and then Zachary takes care of it as well to add insult to oh, injury. No. It's just down to three for BBG. Will drops as well, mm. Corey on the lurk. Things have fallen apart, it's a bloody disaster for BBG. It's just down to foe, a flawless round to qualify for the close qualifier.